The Copper John, designed by John Barr, one of the legends of the industry. We're going to tie it. I try to keep this as original as possible to, to the maybe the most iconic nymph of the whole industry. Okay, I am going to tie a Copper John, not because it's never been done before, but because it's a great pattern designed by a great dude, old John Barr. Shout out to you, John. This is one of the original guys in the, in the industry, and he is about as nice as it gets. He's always been super encouraging to us, so here's a nod to old John Barr. We're going to tie a Copper John. Okay, so... This is a size 12. I've got a three and a half mil bead on it. You can uh, pick whatever size you want. And then this is like a, this is an O2O lead. And I'm just gonna do about five turns. I can wiggle off the front, but sometimes I have trouble getting the back one cut. So um, anyway, that's about five turns. And that just kind of keeps the bead exactly where it needs to be. We got quite a wing case on this bad boy, so we need to make sure it stays nice and uh, centered. So this is 70 denier UTC that I'm using, and I use I use it because it's really really flat. So as you can see, it just doesn't it doesn't have any bumps to it. It's really important that this body remains flat. And so you can use this thread, um, Danville 70s grade. You could even do it with Uni if you kept unwinding your thread. But we're going to take two brown biots, and I'm just going to do this in normal, normal old copper color, the original. And uh, I just have uh, the two biots. I'm going to tie in right at right at the same time. You can also put black on this if you want. And I got a real nice shade of brown going on, so I'm just going to keep using it. Um, so I'm going to grab the biots like this. So see if you can get them pinched in your fingers so that they're roughly the same length and that they're opposing each other like that. And then I just like to sit them right on top. I'm going to do maybe all you know, the body length uh, a little bit shorter maybe. So I'm going to put them on top and I'm going to grab them with my, my other hand and it should kind of make just a little tent around those. My first wrap is going to be really loose and then I'm going to pull it toward me and it kind of pops those apart from each other and splits the tail in just kind of one wrap. Now instead of trimming those off, maintaining my thread nice and flat, I'm just going to wrap those biots up the body. It's okay if they twist a little bit. We're going to cover all that up. So once it's up here, We'll cut those off and kind of try to smooth out this spot where I tied them or I cut them off. Um, from here, we're going to attach our wire. So this is kind of a cool wire. This is Uni soft wire. It's been around for a long, long time, but I think a lot of people use all the other wires that are out there. This one's pretty cool because when you wrap it tight on a copper john, it really snugs up next to itself nice and, and easily. But I'm just going to tie that on right behind the lead and right in the middle of the fly, and I'm going to wrap it down the back. Again, always maintain your thread flat. And make sure you wrap it all the way to the point where those biots start. Otherwise, you'll have a little bit of gap and, and really snug down right here. Because uh, as you start wrapping the wire, it's going to want to kind of pull out of that spot. Um, so once I have it here, start just covering that up. And I'll cover up my, my wire as well. Unwrap that or unwind it. And then I'm just going to build a little bit of taper in the body. So I'm going to stay away from the very tip of the tail. And just kind of wrap down halfway down and just build a nice taper. This is a really important step of a copper john. And as you can see, the body's kind of uneven where the wire is. There's kind of a ridge, but uh, that's not super visible in the finished fly. All right, so 
There we've built it up. It doesn't have to be as clean where the lead is. And now we're ready to wrap the wire. So just following the same direction that my thread's going, I'm going to wrap the wire. Now here, you kind of have to do a, a little bit of a jog around the hook point while maintaining tension. So just do a quick little jog like that around it and maintain tension. And those these uh, wraps should not separate. Again, with this uni wire, it's really cool stuff because it wraps really nice and it kind of sticks to itself. All right, so as I'm going up the fly, you can see now that we've got a really nice uniform copper body. And I'll go a few more turns. And then once I get up here, I'll just kind of make a half turn onto the thorax to give me a spot to tie it off. And then if I take that wire and just bend it back against itself where it just came from, like that, I should be able just to helicopter a few times and it will break right off. Okay, now we're ready to tie in some wing case materials. So the traditional Copper John does have flash down the back of the wing case. And so because that's on the top, we need to tie it in very first. So we'll tie in the flash. And the Copper John has a pretty long wing case, almost halfway down the fly. So about right there is where I want my, my wing case to start. Then I'm going to take some of this Fino skin. So Fino skin's a little bit more stretchy than thin skin. I've really been liking it, especially for this fly, where it looks awesome if you get, if you get a nice tight wing case on it. All right, so I'm going to tie that one in. Just lay that down and tie it back to the same spot where we tied that flash. And there we are. We're looking pretty dang good. Biots are still looking good. All right. Now, you can do peacock dubbing, but we're going to keep it original. We're going to do this uh, with peacock. And I'm just going to grab about, you know, three or four strands of really thin peacock. This isn't anything special, it's just strung peacock that my good buddy, Russell Pennington Miller, gave me. So if you're watching this, Russell, I'm thinking about you today because I'm playing with your peacock. All right, so I'm just gonna wrap this in, or tie that in, and before I wrap this, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of super glue to add a little durability on that peacock. All right, now I'm just going to take those fibers and wrap them all at the same time. Stop right behind the bead and tie those off. Let's see how we're looking on our wing case. Yep, that's going to look really good. Okay, the next step is to use some partridge. So I've got a full pelt. I take it off one of the shoulders right here. Um, this is one of the few uses for loosely strong or loose partridge in a bag because all you're gonna do is cut or peel it off the stem and align the fibers and the tips. So that's gonna be just a little bit longer than the wing case. So I'm gonna tie in one clump on one side and do not use too many thread wraps over here because if you use too many thread wraps, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of bulk. That super glue wanted to grab my feathers, so I had to free them. All right, same thing on the other side, just a small clump. I'm gonna tie that one in. Okay. All right, now we're gonna trim those off. And, and I really like these Renamed scissors because they're thin, you know, all around. You can really get in and, and trim well with those. Oh, what's that, Spencer? I should have been a surgeon? I agree, I agree. Some people say I'm not smart enough for that stuff, but I, I agree, Spence. 
Okay, now we're ready to put the case on this bad boy. So I like to just pull that over and catch it right behind the bead, just like that. And before I pull this flash over, I'm gonna actually trim the, the pheno skin. And if you can get in with your, your scissor tips and really get that as close to the bead as possible, it works great. All right, so I've got that trimmed off. I'm gonna take my, my flash now and I'm gonna take my thread and catch it. Let's see if I can show this to you a little easier. So if I have this pulled over, I'm gonna take my thread and catch it in front of where I tie the pheno skin in. So I can't do that at that angle. So I'll just show you how I do it here. So it's tied in in front of the, the pheno skin and then I just pull it over on top of itself. And that kind of hides some of those rough edges. Okay, we'll come in here and trim that off and whip finish. And everybody knows that the old Copper John has a nice epoxy wing case. So I'm just gonna use some thin resin from Solares. And we'll just put that right on top of the fly we're just gonna paint it. We don't really need to bulk it up a little bit. Maybe we'll do that with another layer if we have to, but all right, so that's where we want it. But anyway, shout out to John Barr for the Copper John, one of the most iconic nymphs in the world. Right, Spence? Right. Yes. <laughs>